So after like five weeks of waiting, my pipe finally arrived. I haven't opened it yet. Wanted to save it for a video, just because I can. Uh, I wasn't expecting the box to be triangular, but, you know, shape doesn't matter. <laughs> it looks like right there took a little bit of damage in shipping, and one of the, uh, there, you can see it's a little squished there. But, you know, that just happens in shipping. So, I want to open it and see what's inside, because I've been waiting for like five weeks for this thing, and I'm really excited for it. And I don't know what kind of packaging this is going to be, and how hard it'll be to get out. Okay, what's this? Uh, item as described, communication, okay, thank you very much for your purchase, please have, or please leave all five stars feedback, if you do not, if you are not ready, do not agree, to leave all five star feedback, please contact us before leaving your feedback. Uh, I mean, I'll give it five stars if it uh, deserves five stars. Ah, come on. This is the Actually, let's unwrap that later. I want to unwrap the stem first. So I can get the stem. There she is. Nicely packed in bubble wrap. Not a lot to talk about. I like the brass. For oh, I don't know if uh, if that you can see or maybe you can't see. You're gonna have to get. Uh, there's a little bit of damage along the ring here. Oh well, mistakes happen. I mean, I exist. Now let's unwrap the actual bowl part itself and see if it is as they advertised it. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Not quite as advertised, but you'll never get exact. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit different. The stem is having difficulties going in, and I don't want to... Oh, that came off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to force it in, but I feel like it doesn't fit. It's an Amazon pipe, so, I'm, you know, what do you expect? I'll figure that out in a moment, but here's the actual bowl with a big old sailing ship on it. Uh, it is a little taller than what I had expected. The carving is pretty nice. I've certainly seen worse carving. Um, I don't know if that's just damage there, or if you can see that very well, but whatever it is, no big deal. Nice clean bowl. I almost, I almost don't want to put the stem in in case it breaks. I had a filter that I was saving for this as well, but I gave it to a friend because he actually had a nine mil pipe that needed a filter. Oh, sweet Jeebus. Okay. See, I don't want to force it, but hmm, the mouthpiece tastes weird. It tastes like wood. It's definitely plastic. Oh man, that is. Let's just keep screwing it on then. It's not, it's not threaded. I haven't seen any pipes that are threaded. It just helps, helps it go in. Okay, that looks about good. So that's what it looks like complete. We'll have to see how it fits in my pipe pouch. There, we'll have to see how it fits in my pipe pouch is what I said. In case you couldn't understand that. So I love my Church Warden. It's a pretty great pipe, but I needed something that's a little more compact. So I got one of these. Something, relatively speaking, cheap from Amazon. Something that I'm not going to pay $2,200 for, Dunhill. Or something as cheap as $300, <laughs> Peterson. Because I just don't have that kind of money. It's a little awkward, but it, yeah, that fits. Alright, well, this wouldn't be a proper unboxing pipe video if I don't try it first. Or second, I guess, in this case. Here, let's get some of that. I don't have a lot of tobacco left. I've been saving the rest of it for just such an occasion. 
and I have to scrape what's left in the bottom of my bag here. I'm not sure how much is in there currently. There's a little bit. But I know. I was expecting the bowl to be smaller because uh, the way they advertised it was a little shorter than this. But it's not a big deal. It just means I can fit more tobacco in here. Although there's very little in here anyway, so. Alright, that should be good. Now. Now we can show this off to all my friends and people who are like, oh, I wish I could get into pipe smoking. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? How does it look? So far, it uh, works pretty well. I want to show my friend Alex. He, uh, I actually got him into a bad habit of smoking pipes, of course. Uh, he said he was looking for a nicotine intake of some sort, but didn't want to use cigarettes because they're gross. And I suggested uh, pipes to him. And he loves them, so I want to have him on the channel sometime. We'll just do like a, you know, kind of smoke pipes, hang out, chat about stuff. Yeah. So I know it's not much of an unboxing. Uh, it actually took a lot, a lot less time than I thought to un uh, unbox this thing, but here it is. I think it looks pretty cool with the, uh, the sailing ship carved into it. I'll have a link to, well, this pipe yeah, from Amazon anyway. Mm. You can see the one like versus this and what I ordered, which is you know it's the same pipe. It's just when you buy something that's especially when it's hand carved, it's always going to become a little different than when uh, when you see it online. They always take their nicest looking thing and advertise that, and then send you the the not as nice ones. But I still think this pipe looks pretty nice. I'm excited to show it off to everyone. I'm happy that it arrived earlier than it said it would. They said on the 8th, I think today's the 5th or something. So I'll have to, uh, I'll definitely have to break it in, as you do with every new pipe that you get. And uh, I, it's pretty nice so far. Like, I like the, uh, the stem with the little brass ring that immediately came off. I mean... I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm not expecting like a super nice, high quality pipe because I paid like forty bucks for it. It's just something to, um, you know, to to carry around with me that I can fit in my pouch and isn't sticking out of my pocket the way my church warden was. And it's just a little easier to carry around, and it still looks really classy. Yeah, I want to get a cigar, like a good fat cigar, to have on the channel sometime. I know I've talked before about getting into cigars, and you know I enjoy them. They're just hard to come by around here. There aren't a lot of places that sell them, and I've heard people have had issues with um, buying cigars from America that ship to Canada. I'll do a bit more reading, see what people think, and see where a good place to uh, get cigars, either from Canada or that'll ship to Canada without any issues, would be. Uh, I think Cigar Chief might be a good place to start. I want to get a Padron. They, I've heard a lot of good things about Padrons. They seem really nice. And, well, you know, it'd be nice to have one because, like I said, they sound really nice. And smoking a cigar on the channel, I, you know, kick my feet up onto the table here, just lean back, <laughs> get some whiskey because a lot of people like whiskey with their cigars. Whiskey or rum? I think it's whiskey. Honestly, I'm not a fan of whiskey. Call me old-fashioned, but... <laughs> I don't like alcohol that much. Maybe that's not old-fashioned, but it just tastes bitter and gross. So, um, I'm not an alcoholic. You can see the those bottles back there. Those aren't mine. Not all of them, anyway. I'm not an alcoholic, I swear. They're just from, uh, you know, we'd, we'd have friends over, and we'd take knives, watches, keys, stuff like that, and put them over there, out of sight and out of mind kind of thing. Some of them are from... Uh, a pre-wedding party, you know, my sister got married a few months ago, last year sometime actually. So, you know, just collect them as decorations. There's a bottle of Crown Royal over there, a few other things. 
just to make it more of a man cave kind of thing. I mean, the lights are pretty cool, but, you know, just a little extra touch. Now, before I wrap things up, because this has been a fairly uneventful 10 minutes so far, I know I mentioned him last video, but this is probably a more appropriate video for uh, anyone who likes pipes. Um, if you like pipes, go check out 4-Eyed Piper over, um, he's another YTPC, which I believe stands for YouTube Pipe Channel. I wouldn't consider myself that, because I, I have done a few pipe videos in the past, but I do a lot more other stuff, reviews, um, unboxing things, and just some rambles and rants. Maybe not any yet, but I probably will in the future if I've got nothing better to do. I want to do a video on Plague Doctors, just because that'd be fun. Uh, I need to finish making the mask, though. It's not going to look very good. But yeah, if you like pipes and you want to see more of that stuff, because I've noticed that my pipe videos have been the most popular out of all of them, go check out 4 Piper. I'm, I'll see about getting a link to the description, or the link to his channel in the description. Although I know it's in my last video about Mall Ninjas. Again, not the most appropriate video for that kind of thing. And, um, well, he, if, uh, if it's a live stream, he just, he talks to people that are chatting with him in the chat, because there are only, like, 12 people at a time, sometimes a little more. And he'll, you know, answer questions, or be like, uh, yeah, well, today I just got this pipe, or this person sent me this thing. And, you know, he seems like a cool guy, fun to hang out with, I'm sure. So, go check him out if you like that kind of stuff. If not, well... I don't know, check him out anyway. He's got a, uh, you subscribe to me, I subscribe to you policy. So when I subscribed to him, I didn't know that, and I saw he subscribed to me, and I was really excited. And then I heard that he had that policy, and I was like, oh, still pretty cool anyway. I like his stuff. Hmm. Well, I guess that's all for now. I just wanted to, uh, show off my new pipe. I don't know how well you can see that with the ship on it. It's pretty nice. So... Well, until next time, that was a rather boring 12 minutes now, but uh, I guess thanks for watching and have a good one.